Okay, coming soon by popular demand, the high voltage version of our UPDI friend. Uh, look at this beauty. So we have the UPDI friend that we put in the store a couple weeks ago that lets you program your favorite AT Tiny UPDI programmable chips, um, but will not give you that 12 volt pulse needed to unbrick chips that were that were fused to use the UPDI pin for reset or GPIO. Now you want you most people don't need that. But if you do need that because you want to use that GPIO or you have a chip that requires the high voltage pulse, this is a similar UPDI programmer, but has a little boost converter, gives you the 12 volts. And then when the RTS serial line toggles, which you know the UPDI serial programmer uh, will do automatically on serial port open, uh, you'll get that pulse and uh, it'll let you program the chip. So very handy. Next up. Okay, uh, sort of combo from last week and then this week we have uh, these beautiful RGB W NeoPixel neon strips that run on five volts. Finally, we had a twelve volt version and it was all annoying because you know you probably don't have twelve volts hanging around. This one is five volt friendly. It's like one hundred and forty four pixels per meter, um, and uh, as you see in the animation, it has. Uh, full RGB control, pixel control across, and then either cool white or warm white. You'll see if after the, yeah, a nice, beautiful warm white LED um, as well. So you can get, you know, both extremely colorful color changes or white pixels. Um, don't forget to set your mode to RGBW on your controller, but it's otherwise NeoPixel, NeoPixel compatible and 5 volt friendly, which I love. All right, and then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lee Data, our customers, our community, the Adafruit team, the staff, everybody who makes and shares and makes this whole thing go is? Dun, dun, dun. It's the Max 4544 Analog Switch. This is by Special Quest uh, from AT Makers, but I thought other people could also use this handy board. So we sell relay boards that will let you like mechanically switch between you know, two options and one, you know, common um, connection. So normally open, common, normally close, and you can switch between the two. But relays, uh, first off, they're a little slow. Second, they click. Uh, third, they use a lot of power. And fourth, they eventually wear out. If you want to switch analog voltage signals, you might use an analog uh, switch instead. So this is a Stemma board. So it uses a Stemma JST PH, not a QT, it's a, it's a two millimeter pitch connector. You, uh, or you can use the breakout pins on the bottom and you uh, provide it with V plus, which is the highest voltage that you could put through the analog signal that you want to, the normally open or common or normally closed. You give it a signal and then the signal when it's high, one side is connected, when it's low, the other side is connected. You can flip between the two and it's perfect for analog signals like uh, NTSC or PAL or audio or um, sensor data. Uh, what it's not good for is power. It's not It's not a mechanical connection. It's a um, analog pass-through connection with uh, MOSFETs on the other side. And so you're not going to get, um, uh, you're not, first of all, you're not going to get full electrical isolation. Of course, the ground is still shared. Um, and second, you can't source power through it. It's only for signals. But if you want to like move a signal around, uh, like audio is a perfect example, you want to switch um, one connection between two channels or two channels between one. The connections are bi-directional, but you know, analog only, and like I said, signal, not power. And then um, another thing to watch for is you can't have the signals go negative. They have to be within between ground and V plus. Uh, so something to watch out for too. Um, but otherwise, you know, there's no mechanical connection. It's like nearly instantaneous. It's like five, ten, well, sorry, it's uh, 25 nanoseconds to switch. There's no wearing out, uh, there's no noise, <laughs> there's no clicking, and um, very low RDS on, I think only like two to six ohms of resistance that you can detect. So um, you know, it could be really handy for people doing analog switching. You want like a joystick signal or a potentiometer signal. You want to move, like I said, audio or video. Uh, these are common things that people are moving around. Um, you know, maybe some sensor signal you want to move between two op amps or something. Um, the analog switch will do a great job for you there. All right, and that is new products. New, 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 new.